welcome to my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer session of Wanted. We're in San Donato and I decided to go with my least favourite character. I don't know why, I just did. <laughs> it was my choice as well, wow, I wasn't forced into this one. Your objective is to assassinate a assigned target. Avoid other Templars. Why is it though, when I play as a character I least like, I tend to play quite well. <laughs> why? Why, why? Anyway, I want to tell you a little bit of a story. Now, for those of you that watched uh, my last video that I uploaded, I mentioned in there that my boyfriend and I had recently adopted a cat. Because what had happened, it just walked into his workplace and it stayed there for about a week. And his workplace is not a safe environment. I mean, it, it's an iron mine. And, you know, you have vehicles where the tyres alone are about 15 foot tall, you know? And it, it's just a really dangerous place. And so, um, like, my boyfriend's employees were taking it in turns just to take the cat home for the evening and then they would bring it back into work the next day just in case the owners came forward and we put posters up and everything everywhere and nobody came forward and if we'd have taken it to the vets it would have been put down in three days if nobody claimed it and there's just no way that I could have let that happen so anyway my boyfriend used to come home every day and tell me all about this cat and how gorgeous and cute she is and like all the guys love her and she's just so adorable but when he was explaining like the way that she'd behave, um, I said, you know, I, I don't think that that's a female cat. And the only reason I know this is up until about maybe uh, four years ago, I, I've always lived around cats and I know cats. I, I know how they behave. I know how a male cat would behave differently to a female. So anyway, it just didn't sound right to me. So before he brought her back home um, to here to stay properly, um, he took her to the vet and the vet confirmed that, yeah, she's a female cat. So what we've done is we booked her in to be spayed, you know, to be sterilised so she can't have kittens. And that appointment was today. And in these last few weeks while we've waited for the appointment, um... I watch this cat and I just, I just can't believe that she's female. It's just really bizarre. Some of the stuff that she does, you know, I mean, like I mentioned in the video, she humps us a lot. <laughs> it's like, why? Because, you know, a female cat doesn't really do that. Um, but according to this vet, apparently the cats, the female cats do it all the time. But for me personally, as I said, been brought up around cats my entire life, pretty much, and I have never seen a female cat do what this cat's doing. So it, that was all quite new to me. So, you know, that's what the vet told me. I have to go with it. So a <laughs> few days ago, my boyfriend caught me looking at my cat's rear end, <laughs> and he called me a perv. And I said, you know, the only reason I'm looking is because she doesn't look right to me. There is just something, the way that she's all set out in her behind. She's she's not right. You know, I could swear that she's a, a male, but obviously the vet said different. So I took her in to get spayed today and I picked her up uh, just about an hour later. It just didn't take long at all. Uh, you know, I went shopping for her. I bought her this brand new lovely comfy bed and, you know, I bought her loads of, like, really nice stuff. You know, because now that we've had this done, we're definitely keeping her because, you know, we've had her microchipped at the same time. The vet said, I'm really, really sorry, but there's been a problem and, oh my God, my heart absolutely sank. It really did. I didn't want to leave that cat anyway because uh, when he gave her the sedative, he said it takes about 15 minutes for it to kick in, but within 30 seconds she was out like a light. And to me that was just like far too quick and I, oh, just all sorts of bad went through my head, it really did. I was so frightened 
and the vet said the the thing is we've done the operation but i couldn't find the uterus uh, you know i i couldn't spay her and the reason why is because uh, this cat is a neutered male i fucking knew it now excuse my language you know i don't normally swear in my videos unless i'm doing a live commentary but I didn't think I'd be able to get through this commentary without swearing because I am so, so angry. I can't believe it. I knew that cat was male. And I cannot believe that the original vet that checked this cat out, you know, to sex it. <coughs> excuse me. I can't believe that they didn't realise. I can't be oh. Okay, fair enough. It's had its male bits taken away, but it still has, you know, what it has to pee with. <laughs> and... You know, that should be one thing that you should be able to check. Oh my god. So this poor cat... Uh, hang on a minute, wait. Oh, my first drop kill in Brotherhood in so long. I loved that. So this poor cat has had this operation now. And the vet didn't stop at one small incision. Oh no, no he didn't. He carried on cutting her, him. Because he couldn't find the uterus. And so instead of like a little one centimetre incision... My poor cat now has about four inches of a great big cut along all of its underside. And, oh, I, I just cannot believe it. How absolutely dumb <laughs> this is. And now the vet that did the operation, he's a senior one. He's, he's like the highest possible vet you can get around here. And in fact, he's the only vet practice for about a 300 mile radius. Um, but the female vet that sexed the cat to begin with, she's apparently a trainee. Why she was left alone, unsupervised anyway, to take appointments is absolutely beyond me. So I'm feeling really, really bad. I've got the cat in the room with me right now, and uh, he's just starting to come around. He's really, really dopey at the moment, so... Uh, I, I cannot believe how bad I feel personally because I just knew that that cat was male. I could not believe it would be female. But of course, if a vet tells you so, you believe it, right? Well, maybe you shouldn't. Oh, wow. You'll never believe how angry I am, but how really upset I am too that this poor cat has gone through such an unnecessary operation which is gonna be traumatic for the poor blighter i i just can't believe how bad i feel hey yeah, up she just crapped out on a grounded bonus there didn't she <laughs> she took too long so yeah um her <laughs> the name is no longer madam you know originally i wanted to name the cat after adam jensen in deus ex um because he does this funny thing where he like typhoons the dog and it's really funny he kind of spins around and attacks her <laughs> that's dead funny so i really wanted to call him adam jensen or jensen but obviously you couldn't do that with a female cat that's why she got called madam jensen instead but okay now we find out that it's a male cat that cat is now called Jensen. But seriously, what an awful, awful morning. <laughs> I just, I really can't believe that happened. And what's worse, before the operation as well, I was saying to the senior vet about how I'm hoping this operation will calm her down because of all this humping. And he did look at me a bit strange, as if to say, female cats don't do that. You know, so why didn't it, why did it not dawn in his brain to have a check for a, you know, a male bit? You know, the male bit that can't be taken away. <laughs> I just, oh, this is absolutely incredible. I feel so, so bad for this cat. It's just terrible. So anyway, that was just a story I wanted to tell you. It was just going to be an update, you know, saying, hey, the cat's doing great. And, you know, she ain't, she ain't humping anymore or something like that. But no, that's not the case. Now, male cat, he's probably going to carry on humping. And he's probably doing it because we haven't let the cat out ever since we've had it. And the only reason being is because he's not microchipped or anything. So I'd rather he didn't, like, go missing. And so, yeah, we've just been keeping him in until he can get used to his surroundings. 
And uh, anyway, once he's recovered from this, he can start going out and hopefully he'll stop behaving uh, in this all humpy, frisky way. <laughs> oh, anyway, there we go. A little bit of brotherhood for you with Mr. Creepy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the match, and uh, sorry about the <laughs> real down commentary, but I suppose it, it is a bit comical, I suppose, but not really. I feel so sorry for this cat. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe, and don't forget to check out the video description for the links to my Facebook, Twitter, and my live stream. And watch out for my interview coming soon with the one almighty, Cass Anvar. See you soon, bye-bye.